In this quick demo, I will show you how to run cluster containers in a Linux system. A cluster Docker container images are available at Docker Hub and in cluster account. At present, no containers are running in this setup. First of all, let's make sure we are running the latest version of cluster container image available in the Docker Hub or registry. Docker pull ensures that we are running the latest version. It's also possible to pull cluster container images based on a particular version tag. Now we are ready to run the container. Let's pay some attention to the docker run command here. I'm mounting or by mounting mainly three volumes from the host system. ETC cluster refers where cluster stores its configuration data. Warlib cluster D uh, where cluster stores its metadata. Finally, warlog cluster first to make sure cluster logs are persistent. Even though there are more options available to do no docker networking, I'm using hyphen hyphen net equal to host option so that the host networking stack will be exposed to the container and we can achieve ma maximum throughput. As we are exporting slash dev to the container, we are running the container in privilege mode. It's up to the user to provide slash dev access to the container. Once the container is started, let's get inside the container and examine. As you can see here, the cluster service is up and running. And the cluster D version is 3.7.11. Also, let us verify the amount options we specified when running this container. So, as we mentioned, uh, etc cluster of us, warlib cluster D and warlog cluster of us are bind mount to the container mount path. As this is newly created uh, cluster container, no peers or volumes are present here. Docker inspect provides more details about this container. As you can see, this is uh, started in privileged mode, and user been as user has been uh, in it is the first process for this container. Next video, we will see how to form a cluster pool using this cluster containers.